He's thinking about it. There he goes. Got him? Morning, River Rats. We uh, are in the Amazon fishing for peacock bass. Just kidding, we're gonna use them for bait. That is probably the most fun bait fishing you could possibly ask for, but we got a uh, big boat ride. We gotta shoot some rapids until we get to like the mother of all rapids. And fingers crossed there's some big catfish up there or Payara, or I don't know, something that gets big and fights hard because there's a pile of options down here and they're all freaking fun. So, all right, let's go. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just took the bow line on the boat. I did that too. Oh. All right. Didn't get it close enough. Oh, bug in the eye. Bad timing. Bug in the eye. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the best. You got him? Oh, yeah. It's our bait. Like he wants to go into the sticks. Oh, I'm hooked up. <laughs> We're doubled. <laughs> Mine's in the sticks. Is he? See him. Right there. Mine's right there. Come here. Mine's like perfect bait size too. Come here. This this will work too. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Lassoed. <laughs> I'm just gonna. All right, you're done. All right, cats, Paul. Let's go. Paul says let's go. I like it when Paul says let's go. We got serious fish to fish for. They're all serious, but maybe I should say scary fish. We're at the falls. We're gonna try a different side. Tie off the front. Reckon I'll get one out. Hopefully there's no piranhas. Watch your noggin. Yeah! Still dropping. Just hit the bottom. Well, that is gonna work. No. Oh, stuff getting chased. Oh, something flashed at it. Piranha? No, there's no piranhas here. Don't be dead. Like, even if it's off. Oh, that's interesting. Piranha? No. <laughs> what broke? My FG. No, it got shredded. Braid got shredded instantly. God dang it. As soon as it came tight. Longer top shot. That was more of what we wanted. I got my wish. I wanted a shot and I don't know I don't know if I can say I blew it per se. I mean, as soon as the pressure got big, it just, 150 pound braid sliced, like knife through butter. And now I'm shaking so freaking bad, I can't even tie this top shot on hardly. The words of Captain Quint, lose one, you rig one. Famous words. Get her rigged up, get her back out there. Longer top shot this time, like 40 feet probably. She's tight. That's what that last one ate right there. So try her again. Hopefully I can wing this one out far enough. Ah! And I'll try to catch a Pyara to make myself feel better. 
who knows how big that fish was. It could have been 20 pounds. Could have been 120 pounds. Ooh, right under the kayak. Or kayak, the boat. Pyara? Oh, piranha. You can come off now if you want. Too bad these guys aren't better bait. So they're plentiful. They are fun to catch though. I'll give them that. Yeah. Big old beefcake. Thank you. Wes's fish or bait became alive. Or a snag. Is it still snag? Feels like either I'm moving the boat that quick or Or he's moving us. I saw it bounce. I wonder if a piranha was gnawing on it or something when you're What? That's so bizarre. What is this thing? It's not huge. No. There's your toppy. What'd we win? Cat, red tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can hear it clicking under the water. <laughs> hey, we're catfishing. <laughs> it was almost exciting, and then it was actually exciting. Creepy Ouch. little dude. Ouch. He's still strong. He's so angry. I want to touch him. Wow, he is he's like leather. Not no slime. He's not happy. <laughs> that makes my day. It's the little things. Thanks, Paul. The Amazonian catfishing stuff is tough. It's not that there's not good populations of fish here. I think there is. It's just you have a lot of things working against you. No joke. Our baits are out in at least 50 or 60 feet of water. You know, right out there. Not very far at all. But the problem is, because you have to position your boat from the bank, when you hook a giant fish that fights harder than anything you've hooked in your life, you're fighting it towards the stuff it's going to snag towards the stuff that's going to cut you off and you just got to get lucky you got to get lucky to hook them then you got to get lucky to get them to the boat and then even luckier to get them in the boat but as long as you have baits in the water you have a shot and we got the rest of the day so we're going to keep fishing fingers crossed lunch time what's on the menu z nice Oh, we're cooking payara. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Want to take that home to Woody? <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. I caught a red tail, the cutest little thing. Yeah, like a little four or five pounder. We got rice, leftover turtle, and cabbage. Pretty solid. Save back some of your rice. For what? The payara. Oh. The seasoning is going to add to it. It's going to be fantastic on that. Rice. Okay, we'll see how my stomach handles this. Paul got the fire started. Used a little artificial enhancement for that, but got the job done, it appears. What seasoning? Cook up seasoning. What is it? Cook up. Cook up. Yeah. Where do you get that? Well, this is mostly like for rice, but we use it on fish. Okay. Yeah. And that's a, that's a pyara there. Titus just seasoned up for us. I like your little wire wrap job there. That's <laughs> that's pretty ingenuitive. Yeah. We got Ty caught this pyara this morning. What's your favorite fish to eat other than haku? Because that's what everybody says. Yes, yes, yes. Paku is the best to eat. And then, sweet fish. What's second? Um, we have like peacock. You like peacock? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Firewood, firewood. Firewood. This is crazy compared to what I'm used to. I kind of want to cook a catfish like this now. It smells good. Come on. That's the finished product. <laughs> Obviously, it's raining. Pretty Sorry. good, actually. Did you grab my bowl? Yeah, you got mine. Thanks for grabbing my bowl. How is it? Delicious. Is it really? Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm going to eat mine and then we're going back to fishing. Actually, catching bait. We need bait. Alright, we need bait. So we're going to try and get some payara. 
Feel okay about that. Did you? That's probably a safe bet. Oh! That was Pyara? That was exciting. That's Pyara, I think. Yep. Stay down. Stay down. Is it? Yes. Ooh. Yep. yep. Is it? I think it, it looked funny. Good bait. Oh. It's like a drum. Yeah. Kobe. Freaking fought like a tank. Yes. I just caught an Amazonian drum. Good bait. That is apparently first class catfish bait in the Amazon. Is he drumming at us? Oh yeah. Holy cow, he's he loud. Croaks like a frog. Can, can... That's something else, dude. And he crushed this deep diver that I was reeling in as fast as I could. Who would be really proud of this would be Josh because I caught an Amazonian drum bud and he's drumming at me and he's also going to be catfish bait. Sweet. Try to get one more and call it good. Catfish. I can't believe how hard that thing fought. That fought like a 25 pound drum. Oh. Oh, there he is at that time. Stay on, nut job. What are you? Another one. Yeah. We might be set for catfish bait if we can get him in. Oh, no. He was like, bye-bye. <laughs> Maybe there's another one down there. That's all right, Paul, that was exciting. Just means we have to do this a little longer. A drum that jumps, jumping drum. The fishing's good, because the drummer jumping, you know it. Did my hooks bend out or what? Wait, hold on. Let's, let me see yours. Wes's is brand new. And it's got some piranha bites. It's in got it. a few piranha bites in it. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what mine looks like, especially down there. That's why you want wire through, I guess. It's insane, though. I'm going to have claw hand. Uh -huh. I'm going to have claw hand by the end of the day. Right. This, is, uh, this is what Paul cut out of that drum. It's uh, weird that we're so far away and then... There's so many similarities to back home. You can cut these out of a freshwater drum set. Right there. Yeah. Pretty neat. Are we, uh, are we going for cats or more bait, Paul? Cats? Yeah. Sweet. We're back to kitties. Paul says cats are here. I believe Paul. Looks very catfishy. Cast where? Okay. Ugh. Paul, you got a favorite catfish spot? Or are they all your favorite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get comfy and listen to the birds. Do their birdie thing. Oh, I'm getting hit too. Run with it. Right? We need the runs. I had them this morning. <laughs> He's thinking about it. There he goes. Got him? I don't know if I got him. 
Dang it. Dang it. Oh! Yes. Just kidding. Didn't feel like he was there, Paul. Because you have the beefcake gear. Good beef. It is. That was like a minute. Oh, now he wants to play yeah. with the boat. Honorary little fella. What is it? What the? It's like an alien. <laughs> It's a catfish. He pecked on it for a while. Yeah, he did. It's cool looking. Yeah. What is that thing? Um, we call it um, the wallow. Catfish. Here you go. He swallowed it. Yeah. Can you get it back or you just want to cut it? You got to keep it? Alright. You can cut that dacron though. Alright. That guy apparently is dinner. Paul said, good bait. Paul knows. Paul said that cat is a dollaloo or high water fish. Good enough for me. Yep. I think Paul's going to call it dinner. Any nibbles in there? Yeah, but this crankbait pretty well. Pretty effed. Well, that was either a stick or f I think that was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. <laughs> oh, there's another one chasing. Him. Get him! Oh, you're reeling in. <laughs> Get in here. Yep. Oh no! Almost. I normally wouldn't care about landing that fish because the fight's the fun. But we need bait. <laughs> Oh, there's it. oh, there was a peacock. Get him. Figure eight him. Oh! Just came out and plucked it. Peacock. Peacock. I'll let Paul, Master Paul, land this one. Oh! Bait. You thought you needed a bath, Paul. He yeah. Seven times. <laughs> Look at that orange on there. Right. I thought it was blood, but that's that's not blood. That's just orange on his gills. You would think they'd be further back in there, but they're like right below us. Right on the edge. Yeah. Catfish. Catfish. Catfish yeah. What? Catfish. Right here. No. 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 Yes. No. Go. All right. Let's go. Paul says we're going to catch catfish. All right, pulled up catfish spot. Wish you could hear it, but Paul says the Kobe's, the Amazonian drum buds, you, he you hear grunting coming from under the water, and he says that's what it is, which is insane. And you can hear them rubbing together. 30, it's 35 feet underneath the boat right now. They're just down there doing Kobe stuff. Just like that, we are back at the, the lodge. I guess we have a building and a shower, which is kind of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that, but no big cats, and that's okay. Honestly, the biggest takeaway from today is me and Wes were talking about how, like, there's no trash. There's no dirty diapers stuck in log jams. There's no coolers bobbing up and down the river with beer cans whatever and that's pretty sweet and to see this untamed river that is untouched for the most part un unaltered completely natural i don't know it just makes me appreciate the cats we get at home even more so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button if you want to see more like it hit the subscribe button but regardless, hope you appreciate what you got. And I don't know, that's as deep as I'm going to get. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you catch a giant. Well, we made you up the set on the way back. Yeah. That way, we drop them in. Float.
Thanks for the great day, Paul. Yeah.